a lot of members of Congress and their aides and lobbyists watch CNBC all day long. You've got a direct platform to them as a representative of the restaurant industry. What would you like Congress to know about your business? Well, thank you so much for the opportunity. I think I would love Congress to know that there's a real opportunity to help the industry, to make a direct impact on our workers, on our on our industry directly with, uh, for example, targeted aid that specifically helps the industry. Any sort of tax credits, any sort of uh, payroll tax or incentives in that regard. And also after prioritizing our first responders and vulnerable populations, then prioritizing uh, frontline workers in the industry for vaccines would greatly help restore consumer confidence. You know, your, ind your restaurant's unique, okay? Because I know that you have some that are more dine-in than others. Can you mm -hmm. talk to us about the difference running a restaurant between, you know, a sit-down Dickies, I think you have one in New Jersey, Egg Harbor Township, and, a, and mm -hmm. sort of a more of a takeout in a more open area. It's geographically, things are very, very different in America. They're very different. And that is an absolutely excellent point about why we need uh, such a variety in the type of assistance that will help us out. For example, our business is that type of flexible uh, space. We have indoor space, we have outdoor space, we have dine-in, drive-through, delivery to go. It's one of the reasons that we're doing better than a lot of our competitors and peers in the industry because we have such a digital infrastructure that allows for delivery. That's really where we're seeing our growth in sales. But the folks that just have dine-in business, those are the folks that are suffering the most, especially those that are in the casual dining and fine dining sectors where you have, uh, for example, uh, waiters and waitress style. For us, that yeah. doesn't apply. We come in and have a pit master and you go through after you get your smoked brisket right there in front of you and your sides, yep. you're queuing through, you're, you're paying with the cashier and sitting down or taking it to go or having it delivered. It's that flexibility that's helped us, yeah. but it's also that type of flexibility that many folks don't have. And that's why any type of incentive for relief for the industry is really helpful. Hello, Ray Dickey with the restaurant's perspective. And uh, by the way, Making us hungry, too, with Dickie's Barbecue. Look forward to dining in with you at some point again soon. Thank All right, you. Thank you very much. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.